and start spending money that you don't have even more. All right, checking in with the email bag. Tyler from Massachusetts writes, many people have a long-term need for life insurance. How can you recommend term to everyone? Don't you feel like you're giving them bad advice? Their term life insurance will likely expire when they need it most. Spoken like a great life insurance agent. Tyler, how long have you been selling life insurance? And those weren't questions. Those were passive aggressive statements, weren't they, sir? So let's deal with it, though. Uh, I can easily uh, recommend term life insurance as the only thing because the rest of it's garbage. It's a ripoff. Uh, you're much better off buying term insurance at about five cents on the dollar uh, for the same amount of insurance and investing the rest of your money. You'll end up with much more. Let's kind of follow this through for a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm talking to a 32-year-old who has a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Let's visit him 20 years from now when his 20-year level term that I recommend expires. That would make him 52. He would have a 24-year-old and a 22-year-old. They should, hypothetically, both be out of college, both be grown, gone, out of the picture, no longer a liability. The kids are grown and gone at 52 for that 32-year-old 20 years from today. Let's see. His house would be paid for because you never heard Dave Ramsey ever recommend a mortgage more than 15 years. So in 20 years, he will have been debt-free for five years, house and everything. Hmm. Something to think about. Now, let's see. Would he have anything in his 401k? Well, if he's been investing what I teach, 15% of his income until he was debt-free, and after that, loading up on everything, if he made an average household income in America of $40,000, what would he have 20 years later? Well, he'd have somewhere between five and $700,000 in his mutual funds. Now, let's see. He's 52 years old. The kids are grown and gone. The house is paid for. There's $700,000 in mutual funds. He dies with no life insurance. See, mom's got, his wife's got no kids, no mortgage, and $700,000. I think she could struggle through, Tyler. That's how I recommend term insurance, because I recommend doing a financial plan called getting out of debt and investing along with the idea that your term insurance is going to expire. And then if you want to keep some term insurance and you're healthy, you may choose to do it. I have absolutely no financial need for term life insurance. A little bit for, for some estate planning things that we're doing, but very minor. The term life insurance I have is very simple. It's so cheap at 47 years old in the great condition that I'm in, haha, and I don't smoke and I don't do all these crazy things like jump out of airplanes, so I can get term insurance for nothing. And it's so cheap, I keep several million dollars on me extra, just SWI. Sharon wants it. <laughs> She'd rather have that than another thing on her finger, you know? All right, we'll be right back with more of your emails.